A 15-year-old boy in Fort Worth says he was arrested and jailed for two weeks for a crime he didn't commit. He and his brother say they just happened to be at a park when a shooting occurred. And now the charges have been dropped, but the boy's attorneys say the damage has already been done. Here's Sky Gordon. May 10th, Village Creek Park, commonly known as Wilburger Park, on Fort Worth's southeast side. Police were already there to break up a large crowd because of the pandemic, when suddenly, gunfire rang out. And people ran for their lives. Five of them got shot. The police know exactly who did the shooting. Um, they arrested the people who did the shooting the day after it happened. But Fort Worth defense attorney Michael Campbell says a few weeks later, police arrested about 10 others on charges of engaging in organized crime, including his clients. They just have to fast, really. 15-year-old B.J. Hunter and his 13-year-old brother. Yeah, we was out there just chilling, then we had a gunshot. What was going through your mind when you ran? Uh, I was scared. His younger brother went home the next day, but B.J. spent about two weeks in jail. I was ready to go home. Their lawyers say the brothers were never accused of having a gun, but were accused of being in the same gang as those that did. Andrew Wilkerson is Campbell's partner. And it seems all officers have to do is say somebody's part of a gang, and then all of a sudden you have a uh, engaging in criminal activity charge on the brinks. And uh, I think you should, you know, you should need a little bit more than that, a lot of bit more than that. And now, without explanation, prosecutors have dropped all charges against the brothers. BJ, who says he's a straight A tenth grader at Everman High School, says he's never been in a gang, and he now considers himself a victim of both the park shooting and of the justice system. It was no reason for them to miss me. In Fort Worth, Scott Gordon, NBC5. And we did reach out to the Fort Worth Police Department about those charges being dropped, and they referred us to the district attorney's office, which declined comment, noting that charges are still pending against others in this case. Nebraska Furniture Mart celebrates 83.